Welcome back guys, in this video I will show you how to replace C3 Corvette rear strut rods. And the strut rods are right here. It's this rod right here. And the factory has an eccentric camber bolt here. Well when you move this, it moves this rod back and forth. So, and, it, and it changes the camber in the rear. So what happens to this, what happens to this car is the bushing went bad back here which caused too much positive camber and as you can see this tire is worn out more on this side than this side so that's the culprit we're going to put adjustable rods back here let me show you what we're going to put in this we're putting in from Auto Pro, and that's the part number right there this is what they look like and there's a flat machined over here you just turn this and adjust the rod inside and out. And it also comes with the necessary hardware. So let's begin. Over here, grab this cotter pin and twist it up and pull it out. Now for the shock, that's a three quarter inch nut. Jack it up a little bit so this could come out easily. And just put this off to the side. Just like that. Now it's the jack off. That's a 24 millimeter socket, it fits on there nicely. So I ran a capsulating nut in this way because I'm going to hammer this to go out this way. I don't want to ruin the threads. pin there oh yeah yank Brianna yanker how oh, bad that was okay I'm gonna see if I could budge this loose a little bit Three quarter inch, the two wrenches on it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Put a pin on that too and smack it. Now you can put all, all this stuff off. So look how bad that was and this essentially made the rod shorter which pulled the camber more positive so this is what we're putting in now I'm going to adjust this out to where this is I'm going to do a little bit more out just to give it a little bit more negative camber so to do that you gotta go this way and now when you adjust this these are the, the flat machine spots over here you just put in a adjustable or regular wrench there and turn it and it'll move the camber in and out so this is a much better upgrade replacement than what's on there okay I'm going to run these down this says left because this is left hand thread this is right because this is the right hand thread so just run these down there for now and go ahead and put this in the car now this is some butter sauce for the urethane bushings formula number five and I'm going to give you the link below in the description in order to get this. This is good for the bushings so they don't squeak. So just apply some here on both sides. I'm going to put the inboard side in first. So once you put the lube there, you put this washer over there and this washer over there. And now you can go ahead and pop this in right over there and now you put that plate there you put a washer and the bolt that they supply you with then this one over here put a 
washer, the lock washer. Let's put some blue thread locker on this also. Extra measure. And put the nut on. I'm just gonna tap this flat piece, the square piece in. Right there. Okay, now we're gonna leave that loose and go on to the other side. I put my lining tool here. Um, this has to go in like this. You have to push it over and go in there. And this might get hung up a little bit up here. Sometimes you have to shave it. Uh, let's see what happens when I put this in. Okay. Ooh, it actually went in nicely. Oh, look at that! Went in nicely. Okay, now when you put this in, there's a flat spot over here. And it's got to line up with the flat spot over here or it'll, nev it'll never go through. It's a flat spot right there. Alright, so I'll put the jack under here. Try to get this aligned. Put the aligning pin back here. And it looks like it's sort of aligned. Let's see if I can pop this in. Gotta finagle it, and I think it's in. Whew, she's in, Brianna. Alright, there you go. Alright, and as you can see on this side, I was pressing with the pry bar this way push this in and out. And now to put the shock in, you just jack this up until this aligns with this. Just like that. Put some blue thread locker, locker on this too. Put that on. Put the lock washer and put the nut and tighten her down. And that's good. Okay, now what I noticed here was I tried to put my castle nut on here, but it wouldn't catch. So the threads boogered up a little bit over here at the end, probably from trying to hammer it this in. Not a problem, it happens. Uh, I'll show you what to do now if it does happen to you. Over here, I have a 5 8 18 die. And I'm just going to put it on there and run it through a couple of threads to straighten them out. I also got a castle nut, a 5.8-18 brand new castle nut I'm going to put on there. And go ahead and run this through now. I got some tap magic, some butter sauce. Put it over here on the threads. And I'm going to run it this side in. It's more of a bevel on this side. And the trick here is, try to put it on as straight as possible. Okay, so it looks like it's straightened out some of the threads. I'm not going to use a wrench on this because I think I got it. It was just the first thread or two that needed this. And let me see if that Helped. I went back and forth with this a little bit. I could see the threads are clean. The first couple of threads are clean. Now let me see if I could thread this on. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So when you put this on, you might want to use a smaller hammer to tap it in. All right, so that's good. Okay, so put a little blue thread locker in here on the threads. I also put this on its weight, so I lowered the suspension. Now go ahead and tighten this down. And that's good. Now insert the cutter pin in the hole. And bend it over.
cut it here and cut it there. And you're done this side. I put some blue thread lacquer on here too. I jacked it up again, like I said, it's loaded. And go ahead and tighten that down. And we're good. And now tighten these nuts. And they're both tight and we're good. And now all you gotta do is go get an alignment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like me and share me. Toodaloo!